Good morning, Harvest Kids. Welcome back to another Harvest Kids lesson. I'm so happy to have you here with me. It's Curtis, your host. I hope you're having a great day. Guess what? It's the week right after Thanksgiving, and I don't know about you, but I'm still full from eating all that food. Man, there were so many things to eat. I just didn't know what to choose. So guess what? I ate it all. How about you? <laughs> I hope you didn't eat too much. And let's go ahead and kick off our lesson by worshiping the Lord to some music. And a little bit later, I'd like to introduce you to my friend here, but that's gonna have to wait until later. So let's go ahead and get into our worship music. Nothing is impossible. just a few days it will be the month of december can you believe it a whole year has almost gone by since we started this video series back in march in just a few more months it'll be an entire year of video series online that's pretty amazing but the most important part is the month of december 
it's one of my favorite months i love the christmas holiday spirit it's just always so much fun the gifts the activities hot cocoa being around families oh it's just a wonderful time of year and i'm sure you love it too so we're going to actually close off the month of november ending our spy series and then we're going to start a brand new series for the month of december so let's go ahead and get into our spy series memory verse and let's wrap up this last episode of the spy series with a bang it's a great story and it's something that we don't think about all the time but you'll see what i mean when we get into our story so let's go to our memory verse psalm 46 1 God is our place of safety. He gives us strength. He is always there to help us in times of trouble. Okay, by this point, I'm pretty sure you remembered all the motions that go with our memory verse. And let's give it our all this time because it's the last time we're going to be using this memory verse in our series. So let's give it everything we got and go out with a bang. All right, you ready? Three, two, one. God is our place of safety. He gives us strength. He is always there to help us in times of trouble. I know this is going to be the last time that we use this memory verse because this is the end of our series, but I don't want you guys to forget this. This is something very important. We should always remember that God is our place of safety. He gives us strength and he's always there to help us no matter what we're going through. It's something that when you forget about it, but then you remember, it gives you strength. Having strength in God is a very important thing in our lives. It's somebody who we can always depend on no matter what we're going through. Remember that one, guys. All right, so we're gonna get ready to go into our Bible lesson next. And in this Bible lesson, this is a difficult situation for some of us to go through. Sometimes in life, we go through things and we don't always understand why. And it's something the Bible never promises us. And you'll get to see that here in our Bible lesson today. Sort of like my scarecrow man here. He's been having trouble staying up all day because it's been pretty windy out. But... He's going to have to keep on struggling to stay up or we'll never get a chance to see him. So let's get into our Bible story. Our Bible story today comes from Acts chapter 19, verses 19 through 28. Saul escapes is the name of our Bible lesson. Before I start reading today's lesson, we have to understand who Saul was because who he was is very important to why this story would even make sense. See, right before this moment, Saul wasn't what you would classify or think of as a good Christian. Actually, he persecuted Christians. And what I mean by that is he went after them. He tried to send them to prison and get rid of them. He wasn't very good at all. In fact, right before this moment that we're getting ready to read about, Saul encounters Jesus and Jesus speaks to him and asks him, why are you pursuing my people? Why are you after me? And in that moment, he's converted to follow Jesus. And that's where our story picks up. See, Saul, in his change of heart, is starting to preach the gospel. And let's see what happens to him when he starts to preach the gospel. Let's read. Acts chapter 19, verses 19 through 28. Saul was with the disciples in Damascus for some days. Immediately he started to proclaim, proclaiming Jesus in all the churches, saying, He is the Son of God. But all who heard him were, were astounded and said, Isn't this Saul the man who in Jerusalem was destroying those who called on the name of Jesus? And then he came here pursue, for the purpose of taking them to the, the, prison, the prisons to the chief of priests. But Saul grew more capable and kept confusing the Jews who lived in Damascus by proving that Jesus is the Messiah. After many days had passed, the Jews um, planned to kill him, but their plot became known to Saul. So they were watching the gates day and night intending to kill him. But the disciples took him by night and lowered him in a large basket through an opening in the wall. When he arrived in Jerusalem, 
He tried to associate with the disciples, but they were all afraid of him since they did not believe he was a disciple. Barnabas, however, took him and brought him to the apostles and explained to them how Saul had seen the Lord on the road that he had talked to him and how in Damascus he had spoken boldly in the name of Jesus. As you just heard, Saul's having a pretty hard time proclaiming the word of Jesus. And this is because before this moment, he was trying to get rid of Christians and get them thrown in jail. So the people who were now listening to Saul, they didn't believe him. And it made many of them angry. Wouldn't you be angry if one day you hear this man trying to get rid of you because you're a follower of Jesus, but the next day he says he's a follower of Jesus? I'd be so confused. I wouldn't know what to believe. See, and so many people were confused and even angry that they wanted to get rid of Saul. So Saul ended up being the spy in our story. He had to use his sneaky ability to escape the city. He was lowered down in the basket at night so he can get away and become free so nobody would get rid of him. But the real moral of our story is it's not always going to be easy following Jesus. And I think this is something Saul learned the very next day he started to follow Jesus. We all have this idea that if we just follow God, everything will be great. But the Bible never promises that. It never promises any of that. It does promise a few things like we'll have peace and God will always be with us, but it doesn't mean that we won't have troubling times. Sort of like my scarecrow here. Some days it's gonna be harder than others for you to stand up, but the whole goal is for you to keep getting up and keep moving forward. Continue to follow Jesus. Proclaim the good word and you will have good things come to you in time. But you will have troubles. But God will always be there for you. That's the key to this story. We need to remember that. And Saul's learning that firsthand. The very next day that he gets up and he starts proclaiming the word of Jesus, he's having a troubling time. Just remember, when troubling times come, God is with us. That's the most important part. And it links to our memory verse, doesn't it? God will give us strength. He's always there for us in times of trouble. And I'm sure Saul could have used some of that in this moment, in this story. Well, that is the last story in our Bible series. I can't believe it. It's finally over. I'm so sad. I wish there was more, but I don't have any more. And we're going to get into our next series next week for the Christmas holidays. Which one's your favorite? Let me read the list of what we did so far, and you tell me which one's your favorite. Okay, so the first lesson that we did was Caleb and Joshua and the 12 spies. We did Rahab and the spies as well. We also did Gideon in the Midianite camp. We did Jonathan in the Philistine outpost. We did David spare Saul's life. We did Esther's request to the king. We did uh, paying taxes. And we also did Saul escapes. Yep. I think my favorite was David spare Saul's life. I think that was my favorite because... It helps me remember that there are times where bad things will happen to you. And sometimes those bad things will happen because of somebody else. But it doesn't mean you always have to do something bad back to them. You don't always have to get revenge. And it's something that's hard for me to remember. But I think that story helps me remember that moment that, well, two wrongs don't make a right. And I can just be happy with whatever God does for me in that time, even when somebody wrongs me. How about you? What was your favorite story? Okay, okay. I know, I know, I told you guys I would introduce you to a friend. So let me introduce you to one of my friends. His name is Sam. This is Sam the Shepherd. So Sam's going to be joining us in our videos for the next few weeks. Actually, he'll be with us all through the Christmas holiday. And what Sam's going to do is he's gonna be hiding somewhere in our videos. 
I'm not going to give you any hints. You're just going to have to find him on your own. So starting next week, as we go through our different scenes in our lesson, I want you to get a chance to try and find Sam. He'll be in some place different each and every time. And at the end of the lesson, I'll reveal to you where he's been hiding if you didn't get a chance to find him. But hope you have a good time trying to find Sam in our next few weeks. He'll probably be with us for the next four weeks all the way up to the new year. And we'll see if we can hide Sam in some interesting spots. So, I can't leave you guys without a game, right? So, next up, game time. Hi friends, are you ready to test your superpowers? I'm sure you've heard of superheroes who have x-ray vision or can shoot lasers from their eyes. Well, we're not going to be shooting any lasers today, but we are going to test to see if you have superhero vision. I'm going to show you three different superheroes. You'll have 10 seconds to study them carefully. Then I'll take them away and ask you a question to see how closely you paid attention. To answer, just raise one finger if you think it's hero number one, two fingers if you think it's hero number two, and three fingers for hero number three. All right, blink three times to get ready and then we'll start. One, two, three, let's go. Here are your first three heroes. Study each one very carefully. Have you memorized all of the details? Good, because time is up. Which hero was wearing a red cape? Remember, raise one finger if you think it's hero number one, two fingers for hero number two, or three fingers for hero number three. All right, who's holding up one finger? You should be holding up one more because the answer is hero number two. Well done, that was a good first try. Let's do another round. Study these three heroes carefully. Think you have all the details? Good, because you are out of time. Which hero was holding a sword? Let's see those fingers. One, two, or three. All right, time's up. Who's holding up three fingers? You can start jumping up and down because you are right. Great job. Let's try another. Study these three heroes carefully. Have you paid attention to everything? Good, because time is up. Which hero was wearing green boots? Let's see those fingers. One, two, or three. All right, time's up. Who's holding up one finger? You should give everyone with two fingers a high five because hero number two is the answer. You're doing great. I think we might have some people with superhero level vision here today. Let's try another. Study these three heroes carefully. Did you pay attention to everything? I hope so, because you're out of time. Which hero had a star on their costume? Let's see those fingers. One, two, or three. All right, time's up. Who's holding up one finger? You can start doing a victory dance because you are correct. This has been so fun. Let's do one last round together. Study these three new heroes carefully. Do you think you have everything memorized? All right, time's up. Which hero was wearing a pink mask? Let's see those fingers. One, two, or three. All right, time's up. Who's holding up two fingers? Great job, you're correct. 
Super job, everybody! All right, everyone, that is the end of our lesson today. I hope you enjoyed the lesson, and I really hope you enjoyed the spy series. I had a great time, and I hope you had a great time as well. Next week, we're going to kick off our Christmas series. Just a quick note about that. You guys should have been getting packages in the mail from us. It's going to have some activities that we're going to be doing for the next few weeks leading up to Christmas. If you did not get one, please contact me however you can. You can let your parents know to reach out to me through email, Facebook. If you have my phone number, you can drop me a call or a text. Either Whatever you need to do to get a hold of me so we can get you the information and the stuff you need for our crafts the next coming week. Just let me know. So before I let you go, let me pray for you. Dear Father, please bless all the children who are watching this video today, Lord. Please go with them this holiday season, Father, helping them to remember all the things that we learned throughout our spy series, Father. Please continue to bless them, help them grow, help them gain friendships, and just become more like Jesus every single day, Lord. Jesus, in your name we pray. Amen. Everyone, I hope you have a blessed day and a wonderful time. I can't wait to see you next week for our next series. I'll see you next time. Bye.